Okay, gonna try to do a quick unboxing video of the new Nevada Gretchen, Nevada Gretchen F77. I got the blue dial uh, with the date, and we'll take a look at it real quick. Pretty plain box. You got something like this. Has the woven dial pattern on here. That's what they're kind of famous for. Simple box. Little picture on the inside. And there's some verbiage in here, which I'm not going to get into. And these were on, I'll try to adjust the lighting here. I think it's mainly the one in the back here that's kind of messing things up, so let's turn that one off. Adjustment. Let's see if this works. And so, uh, the first, gosh, I, was, I thought it was the first 300, maybe I'm thinking of a different watch, but the pre-sale on these uh, for the first 77 hours only, F77, those would be the ones to be, that would come with a numbered, uh, especially numbered uh, case back to match and mine is number 102 so it should say that on the back and we'll get right into it so it's not limited to just 77 obviously because my number is way past 77 but I think they only made first three uh, 300 uh, of maybe each colorway and there should be four two blue date and no date and a black uh, with uh, a date. Uh, come on, where's the best spot? I guess a black with a uh, date and no date as well. And so um, I went with a date because I thought that uh, for this style of watch, I mean, it looks good, perfectly symmetrical with um, no date. But for me, this integrated style bracelet. A watch it just somehow it's just seem more appropriate to do it with the date uh, in my opinion and uh, let's at least peel off this thing so we can see the dial in better detail there we go and yes it's very royal oakish but this is something they did back in the 70s, and back then a lot of watches were trending off of the Royal Oak for one thing, uh, Gerald Gento design, so in that sense, I think this is okay because it harkens back to those periods, uh, the heyday of this type of stuff, and of course it's kind of come back in recent years, and I think because it is an original design for Nevada Gretchen, drawing from the past, uh, it kind of makes it okay. <laughs> And, you know, I've been looking for a Royal Oak looking watch for a while. As close to one as possible without being a very straight copy. Like there's a lot of Seiko mods out there and maybe some other micro brands that really do a more one to one copy. And uh, I just didn't want that. Um, I just felt that wasn't for me. At least I'm trying to move away from really heavily homage watches. Um, but then something like this. This is something they've drawn have done before. Uh, you know, it's got that history and it's not just, you know, putting on a facade. I mean, you just want the look, you don't care about the history and all that. And you want it for a good price or again, lots of micro brand and Seiko mod options that you could probably put something together. But I wanted something, um, something else. And this does it and it stays pretty faithful to the original uh, back in 1977 uh, and interesting enough where there's a lot of reissues generally uh, if they don't stay exactly to it to the same size they usually upsize it even a little bit uh, but in this case um, as I understand it the reissue is actually a little bit smaller than the original the original vintage model uh, was 38 millimeters and this is 37 and I think this will work pretty good because Integrated bracelet watches generally wear a bit larger, so um, like one or two millimeters, and they can seem a little bit bigger than you wish they were, 
considering you thought, okay, say a 40 millimeter on watch, on wrist, for integrated bracelet watch, it seems like a 41 over almost a 42 sometimes, depending on how broad and angled out the, the, the watch case is, right? Um, yeah, so I think this would be a perfect size for my seven inch wrist. I love the fact that it's a lot of nice brushing all around, but it still has some high polish on the sides, which is fine. But uh, mainly over the surface, you know, you get that nice uh, brushing over the top. And, you know, there were some press, you know, the pre-production models that were out there, floating around at the wind-up shows and, and maybe some reviewers, looked pretty beat up. So it was hard to gauge how good this would look in person. A clean, nice example, which is kind of weird they didn't actually provide. I don't think any really clean examples at any of those uh, reviews or shows, but uh, I think they did a really nice job at finishing. Nice dual to point, uh, dual button uh, buckle. Um, looks like, should be, come on, focus. Yeah, screw pins, that's good. It feels, from right now, from what I can feel, it feels very substantial. Let me just take this off the here for now. You can see the case back. Uh, no display. Uh, the number of the edition is right there on the bottom, 102, which is mine. And uh, screw down crown. I think the, the thickness total is about 12.6. So it's pretty good. And you can see the mid case is pretty thin too. So once you get this on wrist, um, this is work pretty good. And so this is in comparison to my uh, SRPJ 63 here, the Roman Blazers edition. And that's a 40 millimeter. And it generally works a little bit small, like a 39, but uh, you can kind of see the size difference. And I think this will wear pretty perfect at uh, 37 millimeters. Uh, it'll beef itself up a little bit because of the way the integrated bracelet is. I'm not sure how wide it is here, but um, I'm sure it'll feel 38-ish on wrist once I get it on there. Uh, not quite 39, but it looks like it'll be a good, a nice 38, and it'll fill out pretty nicely. Um, wish they had an adjustable system, but there's plenty of micro adjusts because there's no uh, half links. You can see. So uh, definitely, uh, I've noticed they have kind of nice tags. They're very weighty, They're almost like mini paperweights. Um, this gives it kind of a a nice quality feeling. So anyways, that's just a quick look at the uh, Nevada Grenchen F77. It took me, it took about, I think I pre-ordered this in somewhere in April, if I'm not mistaken, is when I opened it up and it's about mid-June. So about, what is that, two months? Um, yeah, and I think, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Let me see. Look. Let's look at that dial real quickly. So, yeah, it's a blue woven texture dial. It looks a lot brighter in this video than in person. It's a little bit darker, uh, but it's not quite like dark, like a navy dark, like uh, you might imagine. Maybe uh, I can think, maybe like, you know, I think in Royal Oak, I think their blue that they use is a bit deeper and darker, but it's a nice color and it's sporty. And once I get this sized up and bracelet on uh, for my wrist, I'll get into a, a little first, uh, another first impression on wrist, if not a uh, watch or strapping video. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later. Come on, focus.